Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbird Designs. If you're just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new video. Okay, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download Elementor Pro and install on your web WordPress website so that you'll be able to follow up with all the series of tutorials I'm going to be teaching you in this particular channel so in case you don't actually have a an element elemental pro on your website so i'm going to in this video you are going to i'm going to be showing you where you can have your own elemental pro in, downloaded and installed on and she also show you how to install this particular elemental pro on your website now i'm going to be showing you two ways of doing that installation one um one thing you should notice i'm um, actually if you actually follow my series of tutorials you tend to understand that i am actually working on a local server what i mean by local server in the previous ones i have been using zam as my local server where i'm i use create my whole website and test everything on that zam platform now on this particular one i'm actually using a different local server actually on in this particular video i'm actually using a different local server environment so i'm actually using local by flywheel so now yes local by flywheel i'm actually using so if you are actually going for you to be able to know how to install this on your system and one funny uh, um amazing thing with this particular local by fly is that i can create my with this i can be able to create my website locally on my system and have a link i can be able to generate a link and send it to what my client so that they will be able to see what i'm actually working on on my system so i don't actually need to upload this website directly online before they can be able to see what i'm actually working on so my web my clients can be actually in a different location and still be able to see what i am doing in, on my system using the live link I'm, go, I'm going to be generating for the client now um, another good future of using about using this particular software is that you can be able to work directly with your custom domain you want to actually use for the website you can actually just create a custom domain and use it directly while creating your website now if you want to know how to actually install get this installed on your system and how to do audio installation a process so you can actually check in the description box below you, you are going to see a link to a video where i actually show you how to install this particular software on your system where to download it and also install it and how the whole process to install it on your system and how to set up wordpress on it so you can actually check the description box below you. you are going to see a video that will actually guide you on that so now let me go now to what we'll be doing today we are going to be installing elementor pro on our website right away so now i'm going to now go you can see when i come to plugins install plugins you're going to see that i actually have i don't have elementor on this particular website yet so to get the Elementor Pro, just come to your browser and type in Crown Explicit Elementor Pro. Once you type this Crown Explicit Elementor Pro, you are going to it's going to take you to where you can see I have this. Just click on this particular one. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to the my website where I actually installed i have this saved there so once you come just scroll down to where you have this download elementor pro for wordpress page builder so once you click on that link it should take you to my google drive where you are going to be able to download the file actually the elementor file so you are going to get it downloaded from just click on Ensure you come over to where you have it and just download the Elementor Pro. 
now once you have your elementor downloaded what you're going to do is going to come is you actually you're going to see is actually going to be a zip file so now if you actually have it as a zip file downloaded on your website already what you're going to do if, if you are actually using a local server like me you just what you want to do is just and like now i'm going to actually navigate to where i have my website you can see i'm going to app then come to wp content then on my plugins these are the only two plugins i have there so i'm now going to keep this aside now go to i'm going to navigate to where i have my elementor pro already so this is my elementor pro now if you download your elementor pro this is how it's going to actually look like it's going to be a zip file like this so what you are going to do you can either directly come over to your website and click on add new then you click on upload then so you just need to click on open and select the navigate to where you have the elementor pro the elementor file install it then when you are done with the installing installation of the elementor file you are going to activate it and also do the same way come over to plugins add new and upload then you select the elementor pro and also upload it then activate it that is all you are going to do but now i'm going to be using my i'm working offline now so i'm actually going to show you that's the second way of doing that remember this is the folder where i have all my websites file into so now for me to do this if i want to do this locally i would won't have to bring in the rough that's the zip file into this particular site what i'm going to do is to bring in these two files so it's just like me installing it on my website so now what i'm going to do if i'm working this way i have to extract i have to ensure i extract this particular file here i have to extract them into this so that i'll have these two as it is here so i'm going to come over here then click on this one then go i'm going to now drag it into this place this my website folder i'll drag it there then go back and also do the same thing for my elementor pro i'm going to drag it into this particular folder also so that is simply the way you do that when you are working offline as we are doing just ensure you drag the two folders into your website but now i'm going to be showing you something i'm going to bring in one i will delete this do away with the second one so i'm going to the second one i'm going to drag it bring it directly from my website so i'm going to be showing you how to do that right now so one just waiting for it to finish copying so almost done okay we have everything now copied so i'm now going to go back to the website and click on installed plugins once i click on installed plugins you can now see i have my elementor here and my elementor pro here so what i'm going now going to do now remember i told you i was going to i'm going to be showing you the two methods so now for me to do that i'm going to do something now if you notice here yeah, i'm seeing elementor installed then the pro now i'm going to delete the pro and show you something from my dashboard i'm deleting the pro so the pro now is deleted from my dashboard so now if i should click on install plugins now you can see that the pro is no longer there okay now let me activate this i'm activating the elementor so once i activate the elementor you can see it's telling me to go pro so what i'm going to do now i'm going to use the second method to bring in my elementor pro into my website so now i'm going to now come over here if you're still watching this video and you've not yet considered subscribing to my channel please hit on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new video click on upload so first of all i want to get the link to where i have my elemental file installed so i'm going to just copy the link so that it's easy for me to navigate then i'm going to now come over here and just 
I want to navigate to the folder where I have it installed. So once I co come into the folder, I'm going to select my Elementor Pro and click on upload. Then once I install now, so once I do that, you can see it's actually going to take some few seconds and install my Elementor Pro for me on my website. Let's just wait for it to finish. Okay, I have it installed now. So now what I'm going to click once I have it installed now, once I let me I can I can directly activate it from here, but let me come over here. I want to I want to show you something else. So once I come over here, you can now see I have my elemental pro here. So I can let me just activate it here now. Now once you I activate it, you can see that it's no much telling me to go through. So that is just how you are going to be able to act bring in your install what brand elemental and the elemental pro on your website so now one thing you should notice this particular elemental i'm actually giving out doesn't remember we are not actually using any key to register so what you are going to do this will actually give you a work perfectly well for you as long as this tutorial section is actually you can use this too so now if you don't do mistake of actually updating the elemental don't update once you update this elemental is going to require you entering the keys for the new so just leave it like this it's going to actually work perfectly well you can update any other so uh, plugin you have there but the elemental row just leave it just leave the elemental the way it it is so now this is how you can you can from this now you can be able to use any of elemental Futures pro features you need to you want to use any of elemental pro Templates or this you want to use in, in your website. You can actually use that with this particular elemental So I believe you might have learned from this particular video if you have any challenge or any question Somewhere is on the regarding this particular step here or procedure on installing your elemental pro if you have any difficulty, just drop in the comment box below. I will try and see how to provide an answer. Until next time, bye for now.